All right, I'm back for part two of this reinforcement of the Sonic Wake 36 of the seam. So my last video I made, I had some technical difficulties. So, so some of the process has been done. So I'll kind of recap on exactly what I did to better further the information on how to go about doing this. So the few parts and supplies I picked up, as you can see, some acetone, ABS, cement, a couple different little dauber things. I call them to get up into the tighter areas. I've got an extra one of these, I cut it off, so that way I can put one on a stick to get into the tighter spots. Yes, the ends are black. That's because my last video I made that I had technical issues with, um, the process was already done. So this just gives an example. Uh, other products I'm using is it's known as a Vicor. It's a sticky back, um, a sticky back product is used for sealing in windows, sealing in waterproofing on homes during construction uses. Uh, it has a peelable paper backing here, very easy to cut. So you can buy in a big roll for $14, $15 or your local hardware store. Uh, I also got myself a yardstick. So, you know, what I'll first do is I'll roll this out here to about 40 inches, give me a little bit of extra. I'll take my yardstick, put it on here, cut along the yardstick there. You give myself a strip looking similar to this, as for example. And then after I get that cut and it's ready to go, I'll take the acetone on a paper rag and I'll run across the inside seam here, getting it all cleaned up. And, pro and so that way it's got something good to bond to. The acetone will eat a little bit of the ABS, so you gotta keep it quick and simple when it comes to that so it does not damage or further eat into the hole. So after you've done your pre-prep work of the cleaning with the acetone, then you would take your, a your ABS cement right here and you would run with a couple of the brushes along the seam and adding a little bit of the cement in there, kind of gluing that seam in from the inside. So after you went in there, you know, you can get into some of the areas with this brush or get into the, where the tight spots on the nose with this type of brush here. After that process is done there and you give that a few minutes to dry, then you can come in and start laying out your strips along that seam line i found if you take the strip you fold it in half like this and then you can get it into your corner and then peel the sticky back paper and and apply it down that seam i cut it in three different strips as i went along the, the whole seam itself and you kind of see in there to help secure that seam from the inside too. So it's glued, it also has the sticky back adhesive here. You can use other products um, like, you know, Flex Seal Tape is another good product. I'm sure you can probably get in there with black duct, duct tape too and get in there and work just fine. You know, any type of se seam tape that's strong enough to hold that side there and that should get you taken care of. Once you get that all done there, then you can take your foam like I did here and just reinstall it like how it came out. You'll have a slight cut, cut mark there, but it's not broken up. You can get it in there with the ease and still re and use it like normally. You can put some glue, some tape there, hold it in a little bit more. I, I'm just gonna leave it like that and be fine. So this is what I did to take care of my issue with this new hole, this black one here.